The infamous Andrew Tate is undoubtedly a name you've heard of unless you've been living under a rock. But now the controversy surrounding him thickens as Romanian authorities have seized his luxury cars after he was arrested on suspicion of human trafficking and rape. Cars including a BMW, Rolls Royce, and Mercedes Benz were taken to a storage facility, cars that Tate boasted about often. The former kickboxer has been detained alongside his brother and two Romanian nationals. Romanian officials arrested Tate in late December after an organized crime unit raided his property in Bucharest. Tate and his brother have been under criminal investigation since April of last year. He will reportedly be detained for 30 days and his appeal was denied. Tate's opinions on women were also coming into focus even before he became well known on TikTok. After seeing a sign of Heathrow Airport advocating females to go on holiday, as opposed to encouraging being a loving mother and a faithful wife, he commented on the decline of Western culture. On Facebook in 2018, he also talked frankly about being accused of abusing multiple women. However, it is not known if he was finally punished with any crimes other than a driving offense in 2018. In one interview, Tate talks of an incident in which a man punched him when a woman knocked his phone out of his hand in a bar, which led to them getting into a wrestling match. He claims that during the struggle he struck the woman by mistake, breaking her jaw. In a different video, he claims that he was the subject of a police investigation for allegedly assaulting a lady, a claim he vigorously rejected. As a result, his home was raided, his belongings were seized, and he spent two days in jail. Tate is believed to have departed the UK for Romania around the time UK police were looking into abuse accusations. In a video where he gave his justifications, he said that he was moving because it would be simpler to avoid being accused of rape. In one video, he claims that this is probably 40% of the reason that he relocated, adding, I'm not a rapist, but I enjoy the concept of simply being free to do what I want. I enjoy my freedom. More accusations would then come. Tate and his brother Tristan were reportedly raking in millions via webcam sites where guys give over a fortune as they fall for models' false sob tales, according to a January Daily Mirror investigation. They allegedly called the practice a complete scam. And after, a report from the U.S. Embassy stated that a 21-year-old American lady was being detained against her will. So the authorities stormed the brothers' mansion in April. The Tates, who were interrogated before being freed, insist they did nothing wrong. The inquiry was then brought in to include accusations of abuse and human trafficking, the Romanian authorities stated. His arrest came soon after he provoked the famous environmental activist Greta Thunberg on Twitter, bragging about his cars and the emissions they produce. In response, she tweeted, Please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. Tate hit back with a video in which he asked someone off camera to get him pizza, sparking theories that the Romanian pizza boxes informed authorities of Tate's whereabouts. But who is Andrew Tate and how did he get famous? Who is Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate was born Emery Andrew Tate III on December 14, 1986. He's an American-British kickboxer born in Chicago, Illinois, and raised in Lutton, England. He is the son of the late chess player Emery Tate, and his mother was a catering assistant. Tate worked as a TV producer, meanwhile training as a kickboxer before he went on to fight professionally. His appearance on Big Brother in 2K16 Kick started his life in the public eye, and since then, Tate has gained popularity for making offensive, misogynistic comments on social media, resulting in his current TikTok notoriety. Videos of Tate have gotten millions of views on this social media platform, drawing widespread criticism and calls for women's charities to have him removed. How did he get to this point? Why was Tate banned from Meta's Instagram and Facebook? Meta banned Tate from Instagram and Facebook for violating its policies. Commenting on the decision, Meta said it had removed Tate from its socials for violating its policies on dangerous organizations and individuals, but did not provide further details. Tate earned criticism for his offensive remarks on social media since his brief stint on Big Brother in 2K16, which also resulted in scandal after he was removed from the show over a video that appeared to show him attacking a woman, a clip he claimed had been edited. He went on to gain popularity online with Twitter banning him from the platform after he said that women should bear responsibility for being sexually assaulted. At the time of his removal from the social media platform Instagram, Tate had a following of 4.7 million, gaining approximately 1 million followers. Big Brother Appearance and Removal 
Andrew Tate appeared on the seventh season of Big Brother UK in 2016. However, he was removed after one week, after a video emerged of him violently hitting a woman with a belt and verbally abusing her. Tate later said that the actions in the video were mutual and consensual, and that he was still friends with the woman. But Big Brother viewers had already called for him to be released from the house, after offensive tweets resurfaced. He allegedly wrote foul tweets about Girls Aloud singer Cheryl, and was accused of being homophobic and racist. Comments on depression and backlash In September 2017, Tate drew attention and faced a backlash on Twitter after claiming that depression isn't real. In a tweet, he said, Depression isn't real. You feel sad, you move on. You will always be depressed if your life is depressing. Change it. Even Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling responded by sharing his tweets and saying, This thread will teach you a lot about the defense mechanism of projection, but zero about the real mental illness that is depression. Controversial comments on sexual assault. A month later in October 2017, amid the Harvey Weinstein sexual assault allegations, Tate came under fire for saying that women should bear responsibility for being raped. On Twitter, he said, If you put yourself in a position to be raped, you must bear some responsibility. I'm not saying it's okay you got raped. No woman should be abused regardless. However, with sexual assault, they want to put zero blame on the victim whatsoever. At the time, he also said, A man looking at you or whistling at you or asking your name isn't harassment. This belief does discredit as a whole. Stick to the serious definitions and stop pretending normal male behavior is rape. He also said, Women have been exchanging sex for the opportunity for a very long time. Some did this, weren't abused. This backlash brought him more fame, which resulted in an appearance on conspiracy theorist Alec Jones' podcast Infowars, and saw him mingle with right-wing figures like Donald Trump Jr., Nigel Farage, and Stephen Yaxley Lennon, also known as Tommy Robinson, TikTok fame and Hustlers University. More recently, Tate has been going viral on TikTok for his controversial comments, but his growth on the social media platform is not totally organic. Tate has founded an online learning platform called Hustlers University, which sees him charge his followers 36 pounds a month to access courses about how to make money. The website also sells specific programs for thousands of pounds that supposedly teach subscribers how to get rich. His subscribers can also earn money by selling a membership to someone else, similar to a multi-level marketing scheme. The Guardian reported that thousands of Tate's Hustler University members worked together to flood TikTok with videos of him as a blatant attempt to manipulate the algorithm and artificially boost his content. Now, TikTok feeds are flooded with videos of Tate making offensive statements, mostly about women. What has Andrew Tate said about women? As well as his offensive comments about sexual assault, Tate has also said that women belong in the home, and that they are a man's property. He has said that if a man sleeps with a woman while he has a girlfriend he loves, it doesn't count as cheating. But if his girlfriend spoke to another man, he would consider it cheating. Tate said a man shouldn't let a woman go to the restaurant or nightclub with her friends if he isn't there too, and that she should stay at home instead. He has also said that probably 40% of the reason he moved to Romania was because it was easier to evade rape charges. He added, I'm not a rapist, but I like the idea of just being able to do what I want. I like being free. With that said, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed it.